In this video, we'll learn about the Force of Slice 2 as well as the Slice Select 2. Welcome to Vapix Home. Hey guys, welcome to Vapix Home. In this video, we'll go through the Force of Slice 2 as well as the Slice Select 2. Let's get started. So this is the image I'm going to use to show you the use of Force of Slice 2. All right. So you can see the Slice tool just beneath the Crop tool on the Tools bar. Click on it. This tool is used to slice the image or slice the document into multiple pieces. It might be used to export large images over the internet to some other receivers. Uh, it might also be used to save multiple objects from a single document as separate image files. All right. So the only thing you need to do is select the slice tool and then simply select the object you want to slice. Just like the same way as we use the rectangular marquee tool. All right. I'll select a couple of pieces. As you select the slice, you can also see a couple of outlines being created automatically by the application itself, whereas the objects we have selected are being highlighted over here. Let's have a look at the options here. So the only option over here is the style option that helps you define the aspect ratio or the size of the slice. You can force the slice selection to a defined aspect ratio using this option. All right. With the object slice, you can right click on any of the slice and see the option that allows you to delete the slice, divide the slice or send it backward or forward if there are multiple overlapping slices. All right. Let's have a look at the edit slice option and this allows you to define the slice name. You can also add a URL here that will be linked to the slice whenever you click on the slice, specifically when you're exporting slices as an HTML document that the target where the link loads. It might be a new document or the same document. Then some message text that will appear on the browser status bar and the alternate text for the slice to be loaded whenever the image fails to load over the internet. All right. So you can also define the dimensions and you can also define the background for the slice. All right. And then you've got the option for slice type. If there's no image, you can define some text to be displayed in the seal. And there's the table option, which is not available at the moment. Let's cancel it. And you can right click on any document, same options will appear. Or you can click on the divide slice option and that will allow you to divide the slice to multiple pieces, either horizontally or vertically. You can also preview the slice partition over here. All right. So that's all how it works. Let's have a look at the slice select tool. And that is the same as we've already seen. All right. So you can select any of the slice and and arrange it, send it backward, forward, or divide, or even align the slice with respect to some selected areas. Whereas you have got one option to hide the auto slice tool that will hide the automatic slices added by the application itself. Then you have got further option over here, and that's the slice option. And we have already discussed about this over here. All right. So slice tool is one of the easiest tool to use in Photoshop and has got very little options available over here. So let's have a look how we can export these slices using this application. Simply go to the file option and then select save for web this dialog box will appear that will allow you to define the preset for the emails then the file type then the quality of the emails all right and the color profile image size all right so here are a couple of options you can use the hand tool to review the slices and here's the slices again then you've got the zoom and zoom out option. Then you've got the eyedropper tool to pick any color. All right. Then you've got the double slices visibility option over here. Let's link them as it was at the beginning. All right. Then you can simply go with the save option and define the location where you want to save the documents and the file name. Let's say it slice. Then you've got the option save the slices as HTML and images, images only and HTML only. We'll go through each of them one by one. Let's have a look at the images only option over here as of now. Then you've got the option default settings. You don't need to worry much about it then you have got the slice option and that asks you to choose from all slices all user slices and selected slices basically all slices means all the slices we have created within the document along with the slices that the application has created as the boundaries in the document all user slices means the slices that we created excluding the slices created by the application and selected slices means the slices that are selected that means highlighted which basically will be the last slice we have created all right so we'll go with all user slices over here because we don't want the slices that the application created to be exported click and save and let's have a look how it appears i've stored it in the desktop so you can see a folder named images created over here automatically and that contains all the slices we created within the document and it doesn't include any of the slices created by the application itself let's delete it and go back to the application let's save it again 
and this time I'll use a stainless and images and this time I'll select all slices so that all auto areas are also exported all right click and save and let's have a look Here's the STM file created with the images that we sliced with the objects that we sliced along with the objects the application sliced itself. All right, let's open the HTML file and you can see the entire image is portrayed as a web page over here. And if you look at the HTML code over here, you can see an HTML page is created using the table tag over here that has included all the slices to portray the slices as complete image in the web page. All right, let's close this one and let's delete them. All right, and then go with the last option. Set for win and that will be HTML only and we'll use all the slices options over here as well save it and see how it works and you can see an HTML file is created and that only generated the outline over here let's delete this one as well let's get back to normal talking about the slice tool you can also use the slice tool to slice the entire image into multiple pieces and that is generally used to print banners of larger dimensions larger than the printer support so that they can be printed as multiple pieces and then join together let's have a look how it's done select the slice tool right click on the document and select divide slice then you can go with the option any option you like so let's say i want it to be sliced into two halves horizontally as well as two half vertically click on ok and then you can simply export the document let's say i want maximum quality and then click and save and then you can set the document all right so that's how the slice tool works in photoshop all right so i hope you can use the slice tool easily after this tutorial that's all for today thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more free thank you